So, welcome back to another amazing PowerPoint. I want to try alliteration, but I can't think of anything. A powerful PowerPoint? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's better than what I can do. But yeah, I'm Mash, and you're Sash. And we're here as Sash Mash to bring you this amazing Mash's Musings, where I basically... I'm giving my theories about Attack on Titan because I don't really know that much. But also, before we start, a massive spoiler warning for anyone who hasn't watched like at least the first two seasons of the show. So <laughs> you have been warned. <laughs> yeah, skip. Come, come back to this video. Save this video on your watch later list. Come back to yeah. it. Because <laughs> we're probably going to come back to this once I watch uh, the final two seasons. Because I don't know that much. I saw season one when it came out like years and years ago. And then I watched season two, but I don't really remember it that much. All I remember is like theorizing about the ending. Also, I think everyone dies, but that's par for the course for these edgy series, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there's also like, I saw this picture on Twitter and it looked like a skeleton in the desert. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't even know what to make of it. Also, everyone's like going crazy over Eren now that he's like a hobo. <laughs> But he's also a war criminal. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm very confused. And he, even though he's a war criminal, he wants freedom. <laughs> so, theory one it's R18 Swan Online. Because, okay, listen to this, right? Oh my god. They're in a simulated world. <laughs> Titans are there to stop the main characters, to stop humanity from leaving a bounded area because the rest of the world isn't simulated. So, there's like a boundary and the titans are like there to sort of act as moderators almost. They stop people from doing things they don't want people to do. And also to keep track of people, the moderators, the titans, are amongst the people. They initiate scenarios to test out. Maybe this is like scenario one, where the colossal titan appears, and scenario two, where the, the armoured titan appears. Yeah. To see how people react. I don't know for what reason, why there's a simulation going on. There's very little history about the world that we're told. Because you brought up history. Maybe that ties in with Eren's father, Grisha, and what he keeps in his basement. Maybe he keeps the a record, like the one surviving history book. <laughs> the true history yeah. of the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, basically, because it's a simulation, Eren's figured out, right, and he, he wants to break through. <laughs> he, wants he wants to, to be free. free. <laughs> <laughs> So he wants to break through and he, he wants to become a moderator. Well, maybe he doesn't want to become a moderator, but he, he gets offered the position because he's realised this truth of the world. But maybe he rejects it because, I don't know, it's not his style. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's really interesting that you brought up the idea of Titans keeping everyone in and stuff. I think it's a bit crackheady <laughs> with, with the simulation. But to be honest, you're like... You've got bits of details that actually feed into the main story, but I won't confirm which details they are. Oh. <laughs> so, I think um, plus points for creativity, even though you just ripped off Sword Art Online. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. It's cool. Well, okay, it's look, everything rips off one another, okay? So, yeah, true. you'll see later on what Attack on Titan may be ripping off, so. <laughs> yeah. Theory two, it's aliens. <laughs> <laughs> this is set on not Earth. This is like a different planet altogether. And humans invaded this different planet. <laughs> I love the animation. <laughs> Thank you. This planet is full of symbiotic spine creatures. <laughs> but humans aren't powerful enough to conquer this planet, so they die. <laughs> they get defeated and turn into slaves. <laughs> These slave creatures, they use humanity as hosts for... I don't know, like their true forms, which are the titans, but they can't achieve full power without using people. So the mm -hmm. spine creatures live among humans <laughs> to like oh my God. Try, to try and keep like the population under control as well. They kill humans, they lead them out onto like fatal missions on purpose. They initiate going outside the bounds, so they harvest humans. If there's aliens living among the Attack on Titan characters and they convince them to go outside of the walls, who are the imposters then? <laughs> from from the scouts. Also, I definitely think that you thought of this at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crackheady. I love it. Th that's where all my theories come from. <laughs> I yeah. wake up in a cold sweat and I'm like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, look. Maybe secretly everyone 
is a titan in the scouts. Mm -hmm. um, because the scouts are the strongest, or like, you need to have the highest rank in the exam or whatever. Maybe only the strongest characters, which are secretly titans or the spine creatures, can become scouts. Well, if you think that everyone's gonna die at the end. Yeah. Do you mean like, just the, the not imposters? Or will the aliens die as well? Well, okay, look. I think, at this rate, everyone's gonna die, okay? Like, <laughs> everyone. Fair enough. <laughs> but in this theory, maybe it's the non imposters die. Mm hmm. Interesting. Theory three it's survival of the biggest. <laughs> so, I, li I like what you did there. <laughs> everyone has the power to turn into a titan. But over hundreds of years, gradually, people lost the ability. So now only a few people remain who can remember or can trigger this response of becoming a titan. And because humans are much weaker <laughs> than titans, right? They can't survive catastrophes as well. <laughs> Basically, I don't know, some sort of catastrophe or disaster happened long ago, which wiped out a lot of the human population, which is now why they're living in like this technology-less era. Mm -hmm. Whereas the humans, they live in this super evolved society. I really like this theory. It feels very big brainy. And uh -oh. again, you have aspects of it that actually feed into the real story, but I won't confirm nor deny them. <laughs> oh no. Okay, theory four. It's a cult. So basically, there's like this cult that worships this ancient titan god, okay? But back then, there was like this stigma against the cult, or maybe someone from the non-cult side decided to wage war against it and eradicate the cult. And because they were almost eradicated, they had to like flee underground or something. But then, disaster struck. And so, the surface civilization died off. And so, the cult, which is like the, the, the people who can turn into titans, they rise to power once again. I mean, maybe the surface civilization wasn't totally wiped out, but they were severely weakened again. That is it. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry to everyone who doesn't play Terraria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, that was way too many references to Terraria. <laughs> but it works though, it works. Oh no. <laughs> Why do you think the cultists are worshipping this titan god? Do you have a, a, a reason behind it? Or is it just because it's all powerful, almighty? Maybe it's like the key to survival in this cruel world. Because there's like some predator that's larger than the titans. But only titans have the power to withstand it. Mm -hmm. Like maybe there's like some natural law or natural force. Maybe mm -hmm. disaster strikes every like 300 years or something. And so only the people who know how about titans and how to become a titan. They are the survivors who are more well off. Yeah. They all give me, um, all of your theories so far, all feed into the idea of a doomsday. Yes. Which brought about this mess. <laughs> yes. Which is interesting you say that. Because <laughs> my final theory, my magnum opus, is <laughs> Attack on Titan rips off Norse mythology. Basically, there's so many references, I think, to Norse mythology. Even Ymir? 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 <laughs> Ymir, Ymir, yeah. Help me pronounce this name. <laughs> Ymir is like this primordial ancestor of the frost giants called the Jotnar. And <clears throat> his flesh and blood is what gave dwarves life in Norse mythology. So in this case, dwarves are like humans. So basically humans rose from nothing because of this great ancestor. And this ancestor also gave rise to the gods Odin and like everyone else. But mm -hmm. the gods then later ended up killing Ymir. And they ended up making like the various realms in Norse mythology from his body. In Norse mythology, it was also frost giants are like, they're kind of like this antagonistic force, but not really because the gods use them, use the power to create things. Whereas the frost giants are like, um, the forces of chaos and sometimes destruction, disorder, they are also used as tools for creation. And right at the end of the stories in Norse mythology, there's this event called Ragnarok, and it's basically the fate of the gods. So there's going to be this huge battle waged between everyone, and everyone, everyone basically dies, but it's not the end, because from the ashes of this old world, there arises a new and fertile world. That's one interpretation of it, and that's the interpretation I want to go with for this theory. 
Also, Odin, he lost an eye, and he lost it because he gave it up in exchange for divine wisdom. And I think that this will be represented in either one or a lot of characters. They lose parts of their bodies in exchange for knowledge and wisdom about the world. More Titans are going to arrive on a boat, and they're going to invade. Or maybe the people who can turn into Titans go on boats and they wage war on, like, (laughs) Titan HQ or something. (laughs) (laughs) But because everyone dies in Ragnarok, I think, everyone's going to most people, if not everyone, is going to die in this war. But it's not going to be the end. There's still going to be a glimmer of hope because there's mm-hmm. still going to be some sort of continuation. That is a very interesting theory. And I think a lot of the details you've picked out are very interesting. For example, why, to begin with, did you decide to focus on Ymir? Because, right, there's a character called Ymir. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ymir. <laughs> I can't pronounce that name properly. Yeah. Wait, isn't Historia like a key character? Yeah. Like, I remember trying to figure things out from the season two ending. I think I remember like coming to the conclusion that Historia might have been like a key player in Titan society. Mm hmm. And aren't they like lesbians, Historia and Emir? Yeah. So, because they're so closely related to one another, I think it's safe to say that the Ymir from Norse mythology has parallels with Historia in Attack on Titan. That's really interesting. I also liked um, your interpretation of, what was it, Odin? Yeah. Who lost their eye. Because there's actually a character that is driven by the pursuit of knowledge that actually loses their eye. I'm not going to confirm anything. But also, you're completely right in thinking how some characters are going to lose their limbs or something. But I won't won't say who, because that's a spoiler. In pursuit of wisdom and knowledge about the truth of the world, some of them, but some of them mm. not quite. Some of them is just like war injuries. <laughs> Could be. Could be. <laughs> it's safe to say that Theory 5 is my favourite. <laughs> it's um, my favourite too. <laughs> yeah. In terms of crackheadedness, I'm torn between like the simulation theory and the alien theory. <laughs> but what's really interesting about all of your theories in general is that you have bits and pieces, like I mentioned before, that feed into the main story, but also drive it forwards. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see how your theory develops as you watch the show. (laughs) Because some some things you're right on, some things maybe not quite, but I want to see where your theory takes you. (laughs) (laughs) And how your memes persuade me. (laughs) Yeah, to be fair, I think my memes won't really help in terms of theories now that that you told me about them, but we'll see. Uh, So do you want to share some memes then? Without further ado... (laughs) Um. <laughs> Wait, Aaron hates Mikasa? Now go!